Welcome back. There's been a major twist in the Alvar rape case. While the minor victim's family awaits justice, Rajasthan police has dismissed the rape charges. Contradicting to the doctor's statement, the police now claim that the victim was not raped. Meanwhile, a full-blown political war has erupted over the case after BJP cornered the Congress leadership for its silence. A deaf and mute girl is allegedly kidnapped, brutalized and left bleeding on a flyover in Alwar, Rajasthan. The minor girl's family is demanding justice. We want to say that the government wants to say that if there are two people, if there is a person, then there is a very hard task. This is a very hard task. This is a very hard task. But now, there is a shocking twist. The Rajasthan police has come out to declare that there was no rape at all. Now, the medical report is that the two sexual organs are intact and there is no penetrative assault in any way in the medical reports. The Alwar district collector too says that the rape has not been confirmed so far. मैंने पहले शुरू में कहा कि इसको दुष्कर्म कहना शायद हमारी जल्दबाजी हो जाएगी। वो अनुसंधान और मेडिकल की रिपोर्ट के बाद ही प्रकट हो पाएगा कि दुष्कर्म हुआ है। तब तक ये नहीं आता, तब तक दुष्कर्म कहना बहुत जल्दबाजी है। The police and administrations claim completely contradicting what the doctor who operated on the survivor told India Today। क्योंकि wound तो थोड़ा ज़्यादा ही ख़राब तरह का था, बाकी क्या हुआ क्या नहीं हुआ ये पुलिस और मेडिकल जुरिस्ट मिलके तय करेंगे वूंड को अच्छी तरह से रिपेयर कर दिया गया पेट पे लेटन का रास्ता बना दिया गया और बच्चा अभी कंफर्टेबल है अगली पॉलिटिक्स ओवर द रेप कंटिन्यूज विद द राजस्थान मिनिस्टर ट्राइंग टू वॉश गवर्नमेंट्स हैंड ऑन द केस ब्लेमिंग द सोसाइटी फॉर रेप्स कि ये सब चीजें सिर्फ सरकार अकेली कोई कार्य नहीं कर सकती इन घटनाओं को रोकने के लिए हमें कहीं न कहीं एक सामूहिक रूप से एक ये चीज मन में उठानी पड़ेगी हर व्यक्ति को क्योंकि दरिंदे आपके और हमारे बीच में छुपे हुए हैं। The Congress leader's remarks stoked a massive row as the BJP trained all guns at Ashok Gehlot government, pointing to the top leadership's silence. उन्नाव में तो आप राजनीति कर रहे हैं। उन्नाव में आप राजनीति करेंगे हमने कभी कुछ नहीं कहा ठीक बात है जिन विषयों को सामाजिक रूप से उठाना चाहिए उठाइए लोकतांत्रिक देश मगर उन्नाव आप जा सकती हैं मगर राजस्थान में यहां ना आओ उन्नाव वर्सेस यहां ना आओ ये हिंदुस्तान देख रही है राजस्थान की सरकार गूंगी बहरी और अंधी सरकार सोई हुई है निरंतर इस तरह की घटनाओं की पुनरावृत्ति हो रही है इनकी राष्ट्रीय जो नेतृत्व है वो बाग देखने के लिए जंगल में घूमने के लिए आ रही है लेकिन राजस्थान में जो जंगल राज है उसकी तरफ उन्होंने बिल्कुल भी संज्ञान लेने का प्रयास नहीं किया है। The BJP described Priyanka's "लड़की हूँ लड़ सकती हूँ" campaign in Uttar Pradesh as hypocrisy. एक और कांग्रेस पार्टी की राष्ट्रीय नेता ये कहती है कि मैं लड़की हूँ लड़ सकती हूँ, लेकिन कांग्रेस का ये दोरा सरितर नहीं चलने वाला है। while the politics over Alvar rape case escalates into a full-blown war, culprits continue to walk free. Will Alvar's Nirbhya get justice? Even after more than 60 hours have passed, the district police has failed to nab any accused in the case, whereas both the government and the principal opposition have been busy proving a point. With Nikhil Sharma, Devankur Vadhavan in Alvar for India Today. Devankur is now getting us more details on that story. He joins us from Alwar. Uh, Dev, a very good morning to you. I want to begin by asking you, where has this discrepancy and how really has this discrepancy, just so many days after this incident, really surfaced with the police now saying that to begin with, there was no rape? <laughs> Dave, in fact, I'm just going to repeat my question just to give us an idea about how this discrepancy really has surfaced with the police now saying that there was no rape to begin with. Well, good morning, Neha. You know what has happened is that uh, the district administration initially claimed that 
primal facade seems that the girl was sexually assaulted but now it seems that there perhaps has been a u turn the important question is that why is the district administration trying to preempt the case even before the sit or the special investigation team that was constituted is yet to submit its report uh, moreover if the if the police claims that this this was a case of only physical assault and not sexual assault even then the fact remains that more than 80 hours have passed but still the rajasthan police is yet to nab anyone in the case whatsoever so there are some important questions that uh, the rajasthan police that the state government needs to answer but what the state government seems to be doing is to try to trying to wash its hands saying that the society has a responsibility the bjp clearly the principal opposition party wants to make this into an a huge issue it has planned state wide education on uh, january 17 and 18th today uh, on saturday uh, the rajasthan uh, bjp has sent a delegation to alwar which will be reaching uh, the the the, uh, the girl's house at around 12 noon thereafter they will also be going to the collectorate and asking some questions uh, clearly uh, rajasthan chief minister who is also the home minister of the state has some answering to do because there have been several cases of uh, rape in rajasthan and the the buck clearly stops with him because rajasthan uh, has been number one as far as the num- uh, cases of rape and heinous crimes against women are concerned sneha devankur thanks for getting us up to speed with all of those developments dev reporting on that important story from alwar